Hello, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in Moscow in the house of Anton Chekhov. So Chekhov is um, one of the most celebrated uh, Russian writers of the 19th century and early into the 20th century. And um, this was his Moscow house for 13 years. Behind me you can see the desk on which many of his uh, works are composed. So he's uh, best known as a writer of short stories, though he um, wrote some plays, most notably Chaika, as in The Seagull, and Cherry Orchard, which is been produced in theatres all over the world in modern dress versions as well, even in Amberforth College. Um, anyway, like many Russian writers of that era, he was a doctor. So I'm not quite sure how the medical profession led to writing. Anyway, the desk is original. All the things on the desk, or as he had them in his lifetime, um, these uh, photos were there. Um, the furniture is not original, but it is from the era, and it was chosen with care. All the um, uh, pictures and paintings on the wall, they're all family members. Uh, the books are not his, but they are from that era. Um, in his will, he left his books to another library, and they donated a lot of things back. So he was a very public-spirited man. He used to see patients for free, caring for the poor. And that is his bedroom back there. You can see on it his initials embroidered on it by his mother on the corner of that white sheet. Um, he was briefly married to an actress named Olga at the Moscow Art Theatre, but it wasn't a success. He knew Stanislavski um, very well. Uh, was quite involved with that, uh, with the Moscow Art Theatre, and they can see his brother's bedroom, his brother was a lawyer. And over here, um, you see some of the uh, items or implements, boxes for pills that he used uh, in his medical work. And you can see a pole snare he used to wear. If you don't know what that is, that is a, a pair of glasses which has got no frame to rest on your ears. It grips the nose, as it's literally claw nose in French. So that's all the moment from the Chekhov Museum.